Steve is scrolling through Tinder, feeling lonely and looking for a date. He comes across a sexy girl and checks her profile. It says, check my OF to see more. He goes to her OnlyFans and in a moment of weakness, he subscribes to her and drops her a message. To Steve's surprise, she actually answers back. It's not an AI, it's actually her. His heart starts racing, realizing he's having a real conversation with this beautiful girl. He flirts, he sends wink emojis, and eventually he starts sexting with her. She sends him images one at a time, the first for $5.99, then another one for $20, then it's $50, and before he knows it, he spent more than $80 on her. Steve curses his lack of self-control and logs off. Now at this stage, you might already think that Steve is quite the pathetic loser. Well, it gets worse, because he was actually talking to a guy the entire time. Yes, that's right. The truth is, the more popular OnlyFans creators do not message their fans. Instead, they hire an OnlyFans agency to do it for them. OnlyFans creators partner up with OnlyFans agencies to help them run their business. These agencies then hire what's known as chatters, who are responsible for messaging each of the girl's fans to try and convince them to buy photos and videos. Yes, that's right. These chatters pretend to be the girl on the OnlyFans page, act in a girly manner, and try to make the men they're messaging horny enough to pay for content. OnlyFans agencies will hire chatters from third world countries, such as Venezuela, the Philippines, or India, where the average salary is low, and in most cases, the chatters are men. Just listen to this chatter from Venezuela discuss his job on Reddit. 80% of workers were guys, 20% were girls, but it's all fake. We had to take as much money as we could from everyone. That was the goal. We were so good at it that our standards were 700 to 1000 US dollars per day with each account. Don't trust videos where they say they are real. Don't trust audios. Don't trust pictures that seem taken at the same time. Or just watch porn. Talking to hundreds of weirdos per shift is not that easy. You are always talking to 10 to 15 guys at the same time. You also have to send mass DMs, which they think is a DM just for them, but you are sending it to everyone. It's actually a very organized job. I'm not saying it's the hardest, but definitely consuming. And for the payment, third world country payments, so about $500 monthly for us. When you message a popular OnlyFans girl, you're probably talking to a dude from Venezuela who's paid to pretend to be a girl. And not only that, he's probably talking to 10 to 15 other guys just like you at the same time. The Venezuelan chatter goes on to say, I feel bad because I talked to many guys who fell in love with the girl who doesn't even know they exist. Each chatter is given a carefully designed script to follow in their messages. The script has been designed just as a sales script is to lead the user into getting into a buying mood and to end up buying content. Just as salesmen use various tricks to play with a customer's emotions to part them with their money, chatters do the same thing on OnlyFans except they have an additional advantage over regular salesmen. Their customers are horny. Of course, it's only the most successful OnlyFans creators that can afford to use these chatters. The smaller creators do indeed personally message their subscribers, but even then, they are fully incentivized to say whatever they can to convince their subscribers to pay for content. If you ever see an OnlyFans girl on Tinder, on Twitter, on Reddit or anywhere else, chances are it's her OnlyFans agency marketing her account for her. OnlyFans agencies will also come up with all of the ideas for new photos and new videos. All the OnlyFans girl has to do is do as she told, pose and perform in the photos and the agency will take care of the rest.